My name is Emily Moment, and I am a um, voiceover actor. Rose? This is Nikola Tesla speaking, and unless it wasn't already obvious, this ship is under strict quarantine. There is to be no movement on or off the Helios. Rose is smart and enterprising, and she is sassy. And I like all of those qualities. <laughs> I quite, I mean, I quite like that it, this is obviously a strong female driven script that is something, you know, that's really drawn me to it. The fact that it's, you know, really two strong female roles in it um, has been great, but particularly that she is not a side character. She's been written as someone who is in charge, in control, um, who gets the job done and has a sense of humor, which I quite like. This is my first video game, and I love it. It is so much fun. Um, it's different, obviously, than working with someone else in a scene uh, where it's purely based on listening, right? You have to be a fantastic listener in order to um, be a good actor with a partner. And this is a completely solo job, but you have so much freedom. Um, because you don't have to base your responses off of what someone else says, you get to create what the character is feeling and thinking and, um, you know, you might even have the ability to say something and maybe kind of inspire the way that it's going to be designed around it, which is really exciting, so I love it. Listen, buddy, like I said before, we will Rose? do what we can. Who are you talking to? Ada! Oh. Thank God. Yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about exotic energy. I'd like some answers. Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not Ada, what you now mean. is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Fine, fine. I'll be brief. Listen. It can be hard to work emotion into the text, particularly when you're just being dropped in to a scene and uh, you're bouncing around, you don't, we don't always do things in sequence of when they're actually happening. And if you're, you don't actually get to see it in front of you or you don't have the other actor in the room with you, that can be quite hard, but if the writing is there, if, 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 the, you know, if it's well written, then it's actually quite easy to do. And I think some of the more emotional scenes, particularly in this game, I didn't find as challenging as I maybe thought I would because it just kind of came um, because it was well written. I need to get across somehow. Maybe if I can get that generator back on. I need to get across somehow. Maybe if I can get that generator back on. Okay. Now to get up and across that thing. Okay. Now to get up and across that thing. She's a full-blown um, character. Um, with emotions and angers and opinions. And um, <clears throat> so certainly, yeah, it makes it worth, and, and I think hopefully it would make it worth someone wanting to play the character as well. That's what will keep them, people actually uh, wanting to play the game because there's someone interesting who's at the core of it. But also that there is this really intense relationship between Rose and Ada, her sister. And I have a sister who I'm very close with, so it was very easy for me to kind of tap into that, that relationship between the two of them. And also the sparring between the two of them, it's very realistic that there's a push and a pull and uh, a kind of roll of the eyes, you know, relationship between the two of them, but that ultimately, obviously, they would die and kill for each other.